guys, today I'm going to show you one of my favorite go-to recipes for a last minute cookie. It is simple, one cup this, one teaspoon that, almost like a shortbread meets sugar cookie, and it is melt in your mouth delicious. It never disappoints. Let's get started. So let's go ahead and get started by preheating our oven to 375. I'm going to add one whole cup of butter, softened to room temperature, and then we're going to go ahead and add a cup of sugar. I definitely don't mix anything by hand. I'm going to use my trusty KitchenAid. Okay, let's go ahead and get that well blended. I'm going to add my powdered sugar. Next, we're going to add some of the wet ingredients. We'll take one cup of oil, two eggs, which I'm going to be really brave and crack them right in. Don't always trust myself. Ah. Okay. And then we'll add one teaspoon of vanilla. You can also add almond um, just to add a little bit of a different flavor, but I have always stuck with vanilla. It's my favorite. So let's go ahead and put it back on the mixer and combine. I do like to scrape down the sides of the bowl just to make sure everything is combined properly. Next up, we're going to add the flour. It's four and a quarter cups. Sometimes I add a little more or a little less depending on how wet or dry the dough is. At this point, I like to add in the salt, cream of tartar, and the baking soda just so it blends thoroughly in with the dry ingredients. So we're going to start with a teaspoon of salt in there. Next up, we have a teaspoon of baking soda and then also a teaspoon of cream of tartar. I just lightly mix it in and then add it to my wet ingredients in the mixer. All right, that is the consistency you're looking for. Still soft but um, easy to scoop. Pop it in the refrigerator for at least a half hour up to two hours before putting on a cookie sheet. And by the way, who has saran wrap that has lasted about 18 years? That's old. All right, let's go ahead and put this in the refrigerator. I'm going to go ahead and cover with saran wrap. And All right, this has been showing for a bit. I use about a one inch scoop. This makes fast go of it. It also makes your cookies look perfectly sized. And I'd just scoop these on here a couple inches apart. They do spread out quite a bit. And then I also am going to press them down. So I will show you that shortly. And you will see why you don't want to overcrowd your cookie sheet. So I'm going to get about a dozen on here. This just makes it so easy, you guys. If you do not have one of these, you definitely need to get one. If you are a baker or cookie maker, these are awesome. This recipe does make about, it always says nine to 10 dozen. I think a lot of it depends on how many cookies you're making or the size of your cookie, but it does make a lot. So that is why it's perfect for parties or for entertaining. Uh, or if you're giving to a lot of people for a gift. It's a very pure and simple looking cookie, but it um, it's very elegant looking. Great with coffee, great with tea, great combination. All right, are you a cookie dough eater or are you not? I don't tend to eat it. I'm not a big fan, but I know a lot of people are. Let me know in the comments below. Next up, you're gonna grab yourself a little dish with some water in it, and then another dish with some sugar. Shush, shush your little mouth out there. a little dish of some water and a little dish of sugar 
as well as something with a flat surface. You could use any sort of glass or cup, but this is just a nice flat surface on my sugar dish. So we'll start with that. Dip it in your water just a little bit, enough to get it damp on the bottom. And then you're gonna do that just so you can get sugar on the bottom of the cup. You're just going to flatten all your cookies, not too flat. And just keep dipping in the sugar. You could probably add sprinkles or color. I just like to keep them pure and they look very elegant on a fancy plate. Okay, going to put those in the oven for five to eight minutes. I normally do around six to seven minutes. I find to be perfect. They will not look brown on the top. They will actually brown on the bottom. So keep an eye on them. They can be a little tricky. All right, I will be back in six minutes to check on those. Actually, I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee and finish this. Let's go ahead and get them out. You'll see just a little brown around the edges on these, and that is just what you want, not on the top, just on the bottom. Go ahead and get them off the cookie sheet immediately to cool. And now for another batch. Let's go ahead and get them on a tray. They are really so perfect, they almost look store-bought, but they're way better. No one will believe they're store-bought once you taste them. So I could pile those up and make a huge tray of them, but I'm gonna just leave that simple. Go ahead and cover that with saran wrap, maybe add a little sprig of something that is decorative and Christmassy, and you're good to go. Or grab one for yourself, or the whole tray, and a cup of coffee, and enjoy. Thanks for joining me. Um, you'll see there is holy smokes <laughs> wow I just like to lightly combine I'm going to use my trust of this like you walking through <laughs> I'm going to go I'm going to I'm